It's time to talk about the marketplace for new players um, or players who haven't played this in a while and you maybe forgot or how it works, all that crap. We're going to check everything out in the marketplace. But before that, let's look at the packs that are available right now. You see how we got this 30K pack right here and you can only buy it twice. It's a special pack. It's probably not going to be here for much longer or they'll add different players to it through time, I think. Um, and then we got the headliner pack. Um, which features CJ Abrams and this uh, Seattle uniform. Now, with this pack over here for 30K, um, you choose one diamond player. It's a guaranteed pack. Yes, you could get a 91 overall diamond, you know, a 90 overall diamond, but there's a lot of 86 and 87 overall diamonds. Now, the problem with that is, is that those guys go for far less than uh, 30K. They actually go for half of that in the auction house. Now, if you want to boost your team up right away, let's say you got the game on Game Pass and you really don't have any player on your squad and you don't want to start grinding from scratch. You want to have some some help, some backup. 15K gets you five gold players. I think that's probably the best budget pack you could get with guaranteed odds, okay? But uh, everyone gets Roberto Clemente. Don't forget to redeem him in the, in the pack market. He's free. So let's go to the marketplace, MLB players. Now, using filters is very, very helpful uh, to kind of break down what type of player you can afford or what you're really trying to achieve with what you're going for. You know, you could do overalls, you could do prices. So we're going to look at uh, zero to about 18K because there's a lot of diamonds in that range, especially the ones that are in that 30K pack. So let's say you put in some money and you got some stubs to spend. This is the highest overall player you could get right now, right? So the cool thing about this uh, marketplace, it's not like the auction house in Madden or FIFA or 2K, uh, NBA 2K that is. <laughs> um, here you get a, a buy order. Okay, let me do. Let me go over here. So when you're in the auction house, you click on a player, you press uh, you know the enter button, and then you go to buy slash sell option. Let it load up, and then. Here to the left, you got buy. Here to the right, you got sell. On the left, on buy, you could create a, a, a buy now order. So if you have the stubs to buy a card right now and you don't want to spend $17,999, you could create a buy order just under it and it'll appear on the right side where it says sell now. So if, if I had Tino Martinez and I wanted to make the stubs easy and fast, I would sell it to the highest bidder, basically, which is the highest sell now price of thirteen thousand nine hundred. But if I want to maximize on that sale, I will create a sell order. OK, so don't get confused. If you're trying to buy a card, try to buy a card by putting in a, a, a buy order. OK, don't buy now. Usually buy nows are a lot more than the 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 sell orders. OK. That's what that means. Work the auction house. Put in buy orders. Don't be desperate. Wait for someone to get desperate to sell it to you. That way you could save. Because let's say that you end up getting Tino Martinez for like 14k, right? Because you're the highest bidder on him on the on the on you your buy orders the highest bidder. Then you just saved basically like 4k because he's going for 17,999. Might as well say 18k. And then if you're selling him, don't sell now. Always put in a sell order. Don't get desperate and get the need the stubs right away. Only people that pull packs with hundreds of dollars are the ones that sell now to get the stubs really, really fast. You know, be the cheapskate. Be the cheapster. Be patient. Put in your sell order. Work the auction house, okay? Um... There's all sorts of gold players you could start off with. Um, you don't even got to buy the 15K pack. Let's say you're trying to uh, save that 15K and buy players. You could buy some gold players like in the 4K range. So let's look. Zero to 4K. Okay. And just so you guys know that the auction house on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Slash S, the auction house is exactly the same. The prices are the same for both. It's a shared auction house. So look at all these gold players. You get more than five gold players. 
if you get them at like 2k but you got to put in buy orders okay put in buy orders that way you could save tons of stubs work the freaking marketplace that's my greatest advice to each and every one of you don't fall into that desperate trap where you just go ahead and oh man i gotta buy him right now no wait a little bit sometimes the orders don't even take more than like five minutes depends on the card and the time now let's say you're going into the marketplace for the first time in the day and you want to see the buy orders that you put in you press uh enter and then you go to the active orders and right here this is where your lack your 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 active orders are are placed you could cancel it or you could take a look at it to see if it's still available now your completed orders is everything you completed whether you bought a card or sold a card doesn't matter if it was a player or an equipment card or whatever point is if you put money into the game be very careful uh with how you spend it because you don't want to go ahead and um blindly buy uh these cheap base packs for like a thousand five hundred or you know 15k when you could maybe you know guarantee yourself a, a diamond especially with the marketplace and then this one right here is pretty good because it does give you a topper uh with the ball and is a habit pack the chances of you pulling a diamond is a lot higher the game is fully aware that you just dropped 75k stubs on this uh massive box so you're more than likely to get blessed with a diamond but don't quote me on that okay don't quote me on that because the people that have gotten diamonds are people that have put in tons of bread into the game so in my most honest humble opinion learn uh the market and my final advice to you is that if you really really want a card and you're almost there with the stubs go up to like let's say miguel cabrera my favorite player oh my god i would love to get miguel cabrera look at his player card and when you go, go look at his player card go to the right where it says marketplace you could keep track of each card like a stock market look how it says april 15th on the bottom all the way in uh right there to the right and then to the left and if you look at the lines the red line is the buy now price and the blue line is the sale now price Look at how the blue line is always dramatically lower than the buy now price. There's a lot of information on here for you to make sure that you don't rip yourself off and you sell you you use you, you, uh, you sell high and you buy low. If you constantly buy low and, and sell cards at a, at a high level, then you're going to be making stubs and profits left and right without even actually playing the game. All right. I'm sure there's other videos out there that break down all these little ways to, you know, maximize uh, profit. But I'm just telling you my way as to how I view the marketplace. You know, that's my point of view. If you guys have any questions or or have any pointers, feel free to comment for everyone to see. So that's all I got for you, Dante. MLB The Show available now.